Indecision will keep you broke. Hi, this is John Ruman. I'm with Sales Training Academy with the real Roger Moore of Trinidad and Tobago. If you are indecisive, you will lose money and it will not make you money. Sales is a critical game of decisiveness and helping people to understand the value of making a decision. If you are in the sales profession and you are unable to feel confident enough to make a decision and move forward, make micro decisions and move forward. By being stagnant, you actually are making a decision not to decide. There's a famous book, I think it's called Five Seconds, where you say five, four, three, two, one, decision or action. And what the reason they came up with that is a lot of people just simply kind of uh, become bottlenecked to themselves with their indecisiveness. So when you can actually make decisiveness and leadership and action something that you stand for and people who know you know that you are a powerhouse of decisions and confidence and moving forward, you will draw to you those that naturally resonate with you and who want to either piggyback off your momentum or they feel inspired by you or they're like, this is the person I want to be with. If you run a company, if you're in sales, you can team up with those who have other strengths. But a lot of people in sales are very indecisive. They're afraid to pick up that phone. They make excuses about what to do instead of acting. So if you are not where you want to be, if you are Hey, Nancy, if you are falling behind with the life that you're wanting to live, you are acting in indecision. What I would encourage you to do is work out, feel awesome, and go out there and decide. There's nothing wrong with being wrong. It's better to make a decision and change course than it is to be indecisive and not move. And I'm not asking you to do life or death decisions. You should be making decisions on a regular and consistent basis that move you to where you think you'd like to go. You know the destination. If you don't know where you're going, by the way, this is the value of setting goals. The value of setting goals is it allows you to know where the heck you want to go. So your objective is to say, I am going there. Right now in this moment, this feels like the decision to make to get me there. So don't sweat yourself if you're not making, if you're not getting there as quickly as you want. The important thing is that you're steadfast with where you want to go. Believe that that is where you're getting and get excited about it. Feel powerful in your own inner strength. And every decision, even if it's wrong and you're like, well, that was a mistake. What could I learn from it? Well, I won't do this and again, this again and it falls off and, and you don't do it again, good. Don't worry about that. Feel that once you realize that you need to make a decision and it becomes a muscle and it builds momentum and then you get up earlier and you're excited about your day, good. That's what you want. And when you live that, when you feel it, and when that is you, you will naturally be successful. You should be a powerhouse of decisions a powerhouse of, because here's the thing, every day there's dozens of decisions. People spend all day trying to make a decision what they should be doing or not doing. If it takes very little time, do it. And here's another thing. People make decisions about things that are worthless. So what I would do is plan my week out. Say, here's what I need to do this week. And here's the decisions or here's the end result that I need to be at. And in order for me to do that, I need to make steps along the way. I don't know what they are because things are going to come up, but I need to make a decision every day that what I am doing is moving me and my mission closer to being a reality. So make your mission a reality, make it actually happen. The way to do that is to decide and move forward. When you are indecisive, you literally are wasting brain energy. The universe, the divine wants to help you. The angels of the universe are waiting to bless you with love and success and happiness and joy and fulfillment and fun and all the excitement that you know is possible. 
But unless you let yourself actually believe in the decision you're making, you move backwards. And it's awful. Indecision is the worst. You've been there. Like, I don't know. I just don't know what to do. And when you're in this indecisive muck, you it just pull it just it, it drains you. If you hang around with people all day long who indecis who are indecisive, you will not feel fun, feel good, feel lively. When you're around people are like boom bada boom bada boom, hey, let's do this, let's do that. And they're like, people are like, how do you make the decision so easy? You feel like you're trying to figure out what they're doing. Here's how. They know it's not going to change their life. <laughs> Very rarely are you making big, big, big decisions. So if you make a bunch of little decisions and they move you forward and you realize this didn't work, that's okay. Let's do that next time. That's okay. Let's do that next time. Okay, that didn't work. Well, that's good. Well, we won't do that again. Well, well let's try this then. And then they just continually move forward. And you see that simple thinking, nothing is too big a deal because they know it's more a decision to let things build momentum than it is indecisive and create muck. So what I'm going to ask you to do to help you create a decisive mindset is to move your body, get excited about things, start making decisions that are important and make sure nothing is game changing and life changing. So I would ask from you, plan out your week, know where the heck you're going. Once you know where the heck you're going, make a one to two to three things that you're going to do. Do those before you play with your phone, before you check your email. I don't care what the emails are. Whatever you need to do is more important. Your mission is more important than what needs to be done with your email. So with sales training, I would encourage you. So let me tell you what's happening with sales training. So we are having this Sunday, the 15th of July, we're having a cold calling workshop. The decision to pick up that phone is very hard for many salespeople. So we will help you to show you how to build momentum with that, with something called how you look at your day and a sales cycle sheet, which is tracking what's happening. And then we will actually create a actual, um, the script that you'll be using, your specific script. We'll give you feedback, tweak it, make it better. And then we'll teach you tonality, which is the language of advertisers, so that you can maximize the impact of that call. And then we will help you to role play with other people in the class. And again, giving feedback and improving it. So it's a three hour class, 2 p.m., 5 p.m., St. Augustine and the Remax Real Estate Group. The investment's 400 if you love it, which most of you will. 400, uh, sorry, the total investment's 600. 400 of the 600 will go towards the full class, which starts on the 13th of September. So any questions, I'll be happy to help you. If you actually feel that you need more decisive muscle and this kind of hit you hard, I do coaching. I coach people all day long. If you run a team and your team needs coaching and they need a little <laughs> umph, I'm here. So reach out to us. We'll help you in our sales training. We'll help you with your business as well. All the best. Any questions you have, please ask us directly. If you're on Instagram or Facebook, shoot, a, shoot us a message. You see this on YouTube. Comment. We'd be happy to help you. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day. And may you have an amazingly, amazingly successful day and week. Take care of yourself.